What's up, it's me Lego Paradise here and welcome back to Let's Build a Lego House. So we've almost built the house, but this episode we're just gonna come back and finish up a couple of odd jobs that we've had lying around, such as building the swimming pool outside and just tidying up the gardens both at the back and out front. Okay, so here you can see I've added some decking to the swimming pool and I start to build up a base out of 2x2 two two bricks since I wanted to raise the swimming pool up so it look a little bit more realistic and also give the build a bit of height and you can also see I've added a basketball hoop at the back of the house there since that space has been unused and I think that fits really nicely with the house design okay so you can see I'm beginning to build up the platform with some more bricks and just creating a nice sturdy base and again I'm just measuring out an area where I can put the house and about here I think I start by taking a couple of 1x2 tiles that I got from a picker brick to create this really nice tiled floor for the surrounding area of the swimming pool and I thought this looked really nice and went with the outside area of the house. Here you can see I'm just creating a pattern with these tiles and that reaches all the way to the end of this raised section. And I might add some plants to add to the back of the garage. And you can see I've also added those flowers that I was talking about to the plants on the side of the garage just to make that look a little bit brighter. So a lot of you have been asking where I get so many of a certain type of Lego brick and the answer is from the pick a brick section in Lego stores and of course obviously Bricklink and similar sites sell single Lego parts. But I find the pick a brick at the Le official Lego stores to be a really good source of a lot of a uh, single type of brick especially in the case of these 1x2 dark tan tiles since you wouldn't normally find this many in the set and they're really good for just building up a large area like I'm doing now plus they're really good value for money okay so I've almost finished building up this decking of tiles around the back and I think it's turned out pretty nicely and I'm making sure to leave the area in front of the doors to be nice and smooth so the doors can freely open. And I've just partially disassembled the little swimming pool or hot tub just so I can fit in some more tiles. And you'll see I don't actually have any 1x1 one one dark tan tiles so I'll just fill them in using some light grey ones. And while this would have been better with dark tan tiles to match I still think this looks pretty cool and adds a bit more diversity and contrast to the outside area. So I'm just filling in the little gaps with a couple of tiles. And then we can start work around the basketball area, around the back of the garden, and just make that a bit more colourful and add some more basketball markings and the start of a court. Okay, so around this side of the back, I build up some markings for the basketball court and I start to add some plant growth to the house. And uh, I've built up these little 1x4 bricks in front of the windows, and that's where I'm going to stick these potted plants. This will add a nice bit of colour to the back of the house. And I'm going to use this same design for the front of the house since I think this arrangement of coloured flowers will look very well and complement the house. So there really isn't that much else to do in this house. So for this reason, this will probably be the last episode of Let's Build a Lego House for now until the final video is released. But the reason for this is because when building interiors in Lego, it takes such a long time to be to build each individual sofa or piece of furniture because 
of the amount of time it takes to find the pieces that it be a really a lot of work to all edit together into one video. Plus I think it leaves a bit of suspense for the final build and it makes it a bit more exciting to look forward to the mock video, my own creation video of the entire house as it's something you haven't seen me build. So here you can see I've added a little mailbox to the side of the house and I might switch that around into a different place but you can see at the moment I'm just adding this nice tiled patio to the front door and I've added the, the potted plants as well similar to that back of the house again to just add a bit more colour and contrast and you can see near the garage I just added some walls I'm going to finish those off with some tiles just to smooth them out so this has been the final episode of let's build a lego house and be sure to check back for the video of the completed house in a little bit but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye